Hi, I'm Ray from the Easy Appointment Booking app. This app is the fastest way to turn your Shopify products into a bookable service or event. So let's get started and I'll show you how to set things up. I have my sample store here. I'm creating consultation calls and this does not have the app yet. As you can see, it's the normal add to cart button and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. If I go to my Shopify admin and click on the Easy Appointment Booking app, this is the first screen I see. I can create my first event, select a product to take bookings for. All my products appear here. I'll select the product that I want to turn into an event, and now I can set things up. In this workflow, I do a few things. First, I'm going to set up my availability. So here's when I'm available. I'll say my first name is Ray, and this is Ray's default schedule. I can change my email or phone number if I, if I wish. By default, it shows 9 to 5 in my time zone. Let's say I'm not available Wednesdays and Thursdays. I want to take bookings up until 8 p.m. Maybe I have an override date. I'm not available on Monday the 27th. I can go ahead and do that. Connecting your Google Calendar actually lets you sync all of your bookings to your personal Google Calendar or business Google Calendar and allows you to also block out any personal events. I'll show that in a separate video. Click Save. That will be the one selected for this event. Now I can set my duration, attendees, and buffer time. I want this to be 60 minutes, one person is enough, and I want a 30 minute buffer. So every time a booking comes in, the next booking won't be until 30 minutes later. Notes, location, and links appear for your customers in the email. If there's any notes, you can share them here. Uh, looking forward to seeing your Shopify store. There's no location for my event because it's online, in which case I do have a Google Meet event I'll add here. You can create start and end dates for your specific event. Uh, I don't have a specific start date, but I will set an end date for January 30th so that I don't take bookings after January 30th. If I need lead time, I can select that here as well. So let's say I don't want anyone to book appointments with me uh, up until 12 hours until the next available time. So if the time right now is 3.39 p.m., I can't take a booking for the next 12 hours to give me some lead time so I'm not caught off guard. Custom questions are available, which I can show in a separate video that lets customers answer any specific questions they have with you uh, before they meet with you. I'm going to show it in a monthly calendar view rather than week by week. And for notifications, we by default send the confirmation emails. If you'd like, in our paid plans, you have our automatic reminders and thank you so you don't have to lift a finger when reminding your customers and thanking them for attending your event. Once I click Save, now my event's created. I can view it in my store. Now my add to cart button has been turned into a select a time button. I go ahead and click that. As you can see, I'm off Wednesdays. My 27th has been booked off. I want to book Friday at 10 a.m. Go ahead, add to cart. I can shop for more or just check out. And now the customer checks out just like a normal Shopify product. All right, so I've placed the order. And now if I go back to the app, now if I go to the bookings tab, I can see this booking here and the customer email was sent. If I go to the emails here, I can see now this customer has received this email for this event. Fantastic. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and you can go ahead and chat with us on the bottom right of the app. Thanks so much for watching.